first of all, thank you so much, Dylan. Thank you so much, Josh, for taking out your time and telling us about your experience. And uh, it was great working with you all. And we had, you know, a lot of fun time uh, that you explained the requirements to us. So maybe we can start off that uh, you tell us about your organization and uh, about yourself a little bit. Good. You want me to go first? Okay, my name's George. Uh, I'm the co-founder of Sasia, along here with my uh, business partner, Dylan. Um, our organization exists to locate and accelerate uh, the best social leaders inside favelas in Brazil or across Brazil uh, and also London. Um, and really, we focus across three areas. The first area is institutional support. Uh, sort of financial support. So the first barrier to success local people trying to start social projects have is financial. And so we try to bridge that gap and provide basic financial support to sustain local social projects. The second uh, pillar of our organization is the professional development pillar. Um, what we quickly learn after providing funding for local social projects is we it was not a sustainable model for Sasia to be uh, to have its local partners rely on and ask for funding. And so we wanted to provide a professional uh, development program, which is tailored so uh, local leaders can use the the use the program in order to grow on their own, find financial resources on their own, learn how to uh, operate their small local social organisations um, to the best of their ability, um, and that sort of thing. And then. The third area of focus is our cultural arm. And so most of our local leaders across favelas and also uh, in London have found a culture which they belong to and have it really embodied that culture as an identity. Um, and so we really wanted to accelerate these local cultures as often they're marginalized by the wider society. So we have lots of break dancing projects, for example, and so we put on lots of break dance projects, hip hop orientated projects, to engage young people and the, the, the wider community uh, into positive cultures and ultimately positive identities that steer them away from things like drug trafficking and, and involvement in gangs. So that's Sasia. Um, and yeah, Dylan, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, <laughs> thanks. My name is Dylan. Um, as George mentioned, I co-founded Sasia. Um, I don't have much more to add about the project, but yeah, thanks. Thanks for all the work. Thank you so much, George. Thank you so much, Jalen. Uh, you know, we really support your initiative, what you're doing over here. So being a one-person pledge partner, we also you know, donate our uh, earnings towards charity and everything. So uh, my next question would be like, how did you found about us, uh, like on the platform or anything? So, I mean, it's a really boring answer, but the, we <laughs> found you through um, through Fiverr. Okay, so great. Uh, so maybe Jay, she can go ahead with your questions. Okay, so uh, Dylan and George, uh, please uh, let us know about the work we have done for you and your experience working with us. Yeah, um, it's been a great experience working with you guys. Um, you, your team helped us set up Salesforce, which is we, we hope to use to, to better read impact and to, to show people who are involved with the organization all the amazing work we're doing. And we had, I think, a very abstract idea of what we want, wanted it to look like. And you guys were able to put that on paper for us and, and put it in a system that's easy for us to use and, and easy for us to, to show all the impact that we're, that we're doing. And so, yeah, it's been pretty painless working with you guys and yeah, a good experience overall. Thanks a lot, means yeah. a lot. And then I would add that, um, you know, neither Dylan or I have any understanding of Salesforce. So really trying to envision how we would use Salesforce with no understanding of actually what it is, is a very difficult thing, but you guys have managed to basically take our ideas um, and implement them and put them into practice. So that's great. And then I think that it's been exciting for us as well to really see how, you know, how p powerful uh, Salesforce is as a tool um, and how much it can benefit us. And I think um, 
you know, moving forward, we're looking forward to doing more work with you guys and, and um, you know, either on that monthly ad hoc basis or, um, you know, implementing the marketing side of things and the sort of accounting financial side of things as well. So, yeah, overall, it's been a, a great experience. We're really happy to have found you. Thanks, George. And uh, any area of improvement you guys have any particular feedback for us? Um, I don't think that I have anything that, that comes to mind immediately. Um, is there anything that, that you think of, George? No, I, I did read the question before and I was trying to think of something. So, and it took me a long time to think of any area of improvement. But if you want to, if I had to have an area of improvement, then I would say that the only area of improvement that I would have is perhaps after our meetings, having sort of like a detailed sort of minuted sort of document which said, this is what we're doing, uh, might be helpful for everyone. Just because, um, yeah, you know, but like, it's so minor. You guys have managed to do it anyway, so. Definitely, George. Uh, we'll take that into consideration and moving forward, we, even we are looking forward to having, you know, doing this engagement with you. So the last question would be, would you recommend us to other organizations or your, you know, friends or colleagues, anyone? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great, great. Uh, thank you so much, George, Dalen, and uh, you, yes, we are definitely looking forward to going this uh, engagement, and uh, we are you know, definitely working on other requirements as well. So, looking forward to working with you more. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs>